Hello, we're back. You're watching the Paul White Show. Uh, I do have an in-studio guest, and my guest, I'm elated to have him here, is Michael Pierce. He's the outdoor column writer for the uh, Eagle. Welcome to the show, Mike. Thanks for having me back, Paul. You know, I had a little time last Sunday, and I was sitting, uh, kind of watching some b-ball at home, and uh, ran across a very, very interesting, good article. Not that you don't write good articles oh, most mine? of the time. Yes. 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 Okay, good. <laughs> In the Eagle yeah. and uh, on our doors. I always read your column. Every, it's there every Sunday. I glance at it anyway on Sundays. And you had one in there on fishing forecasts yes, for Kansas. And I thought that would be worth us uh, doing a show on that and telling on, the viewer and audience uh, what's going on with fishing. I know you get out and about a lot, whether it's hunting, fishing, or uh, right. whatever. Use the outdoor man. Uh, kind of uh, clue us in on what's going on out there. Well, we're coming after a drought. Mm -hmm. you know, last year uh, first of all it's going to be a good year yeah it, and we're lucky we've got a several lakes that have you know no lakes great with everything but, right. but every every fish species within an hour of wichita we've got a lake that's going to be one of the best ones in the state of kansas right. we've got some good crappie lakes uh marion right now has some great white bass mm -hmm. some people think it's the best white bass they've had in almost the history of the lake uh, that'll that'll get going. Um, walleye should be going up on the dam at El Dorado and uh, Cheney any day or any night now if, mm -hmm. if they're not doing it now. Of course, channel cat go year round, and about every lake's got good channel cat fish. Right, in it. right. Um, Cheney, like you and I were discussing earlier, people don't fish a drought. Right. One, it's hard to get the boat on sometimes. Yeah. But um, those are so that saved thousands of fish last year. Didn't get caught. Right. Guess who's bigger this year? Yep. Fillets are going to be a little thicker. Fish will be a little longer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's we're looking good. Um, I've got friends that are fishing a lot right now at El Dorado. They're catching crappie mm -hmm. very well. Some nice size up to almost 15 inches. Um, it's not the best lake for numbers, but right. it's got it's, whenever it's whenever they go to spawn, it'll it'll concentrate mm -hmm. them. Uh, Fall River, Toronto, can be great crappie. Um, you know, people can go up the river and catch crappie there year-round, fairly, right, fairly right. shallow. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take a great big boat. You can take a little John boat or a canoe. Um, we've got great wipers at um, all three local lakes, Marion, El Dorado, and um, Cheney. Of course, El Dorado and Cheney have the real restrictive limits on them. Right. You're allowed two, right. and they've got to be 21 inches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Marion, the limit's five, and there is no minimum length limit up there oh, because okay. they they got too many of them. They need to right. they need to take mind. some of the numbers out. So it it's going to be a good year. Um, you know, if the drought continues, it's pretty hard to garden, but the fish right. get in a set pattern. You know, and the you don't have to deal with cold fronts and water fluctuations. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we've seen a crappie spawn in northeast Kansas last six really good weeks because of the drought. Fish moved in. Water didn't fluctuate that much, and they were in the same basic places for six weeks. So that's kind of an early spawn, isn't it? Um, well, about normal. It was a normal time. I mean, a spawn goes by water temperature. Okay. But you didn't have the cold front pushing the fish right, off the right, bank, or right. Of course, if the lakes were down, it may warm a little faster. Mm -hmm. But we've had enough cold nights right now. We're, I don't think we're running much ahead of schedule as far as water temperature goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, but it's time. I mean, it's good. about now people start fishing off the dams and the rocky points at night uh, at the three major reservoirs uh, for walleye. During the day, up along the same places, you can catch white bass. Right. So it's, things are going. Uh, I noticed they also had an article in the paper about uh, the Lincoln Street Bridge. The dam has come up now mm -hmm. uh, about a foot since we good. had the snow melt. And, and the little rains that we've had already. So if we uh, continue to get a little more rain, that's going to make it even a little better. And yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long it takes those fish to come up because they've, right. got, they've got to be way downstream right, right. now. Yeah. yeah, Because it's, it's you know, whenever the local canoe group has to drag their kayaks mm -hmm. down the river, mm -hmm. it's too shallow, there's not many fish. Right. But as you know, I mean, we get three or four inch rain, those fish will come out of, out of Call Reservoir. Right. And, and right. out of the other rivers, and they'll come mm -hmm. up fast, mm -hmm. and they'll be hungry. Yep. Just like they yep. are every year. Yep, they will. Yeah, like you said, though, it ought to be some nice-sized fish caught uh, this year. 
Uh, it got way too hot last year and for a lot of people to go. Right. And I noticed a lot of the anglers come in the bait shop, say, uh, say, you going fishing? No, uh, give me a package of hot legs. I said, aren't you going fishing? It's time to go fishing. Well, I can't find any water. You know, I had to walk 40 miles. It seemed like to find water to get my boat in. You know, only one ramp open at Cheney. Yeah, and, you know, it's, so, and it's borderline. So, I mean, right. if, if you've got a real deep draft boat, you're not going right. you know, to make it in that one. But, right. yeah, I mean, it did come up six inches. Right. But like Canopolis, nothing there. Uh, they've got a backhoe in up at uh, Council Grove. Council Grove's be a good lake this year, too. Mm -hmm. But um, they've opened up one ramp there. But that, that's going to have some of the bigger crappie in central Kansas. This year. Yeah. Oh, uh, can you do much bank fishing up there? You know, actually, you can, uh, especially, of course, anytime the crappie spawn goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've got saw guy, which are right. a hybrid. Mm -hmm. And yep. They don't know that they're sterile. They go through a false spawn. Right. Saw guy are always shallower than walleye anyway. So it, about any time of spring and summer, you can wait around points, throw jigs, crank baits, mm -hmm. uh, jig and night crawler, and catch saw guy. It's it's much easier to catch them from shore than it is a walleye. You may have to try different spots on the lake, right. You know to find them. Right. But so anybody that's willing to wade knee deep and get up there in oh, early May, you know, you can take a long pole and. Doodle sock around the right. brush with mm -hmm. a jig and minnow for uh, a crappie, and then flip out every once in a while. And they catch some nice saw guy there on uh, you know when you're crappie fishing up in there, right, so right, on the long poles and stuff. So that's if somebody's got wants to go try a new lake this year and wait mm -hmm. around and look, that would probably be the one I would suggest going to. Up at Canopolis? No, Council Grove. Council Grove. Okay. Council Grove. Okay. Yeah, it's it doesn't get much attention. It's kind of a smaller lake. Uh -huh. uh, it's so close to Tuttle Creek and Milford and. El Dorado, and back in the late 80s, it was maybe the best crappie lake in, in the nation. Mm -hmm. And ever since, and it's, it's just not very crowded anymore. All right, Michael, we're going to take a short commercial break, and then we'll be right back. You stay tuned. I'm visiting with Michael Pierce, the outdoor column writer for the Eagles. <laughs> 